Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another, another day of the Mark Bar brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, and it's January 10th. Hey, uh, kind of a quiet day today again. Uh, this week, there's not a lot of uh, economic on, on the economic calendar, but today we got the weekly jobless claims that we always get every Thursday. So last week was uh, revised a slightly higher from 231 to 233. Uh, forecast was supposed to be kind of in that range at 227,000. And they did drop to by 17,000 down to 216,000, which is obviously good news. So unlike a lot of the other reports uh, that we want the higher number, uh, in this number we actually want to see the lower number. Now this is something we're kind of keeping our eyes on because it seems like we're kind of bottoming it out on this uh, level. And usually that's kind of a sign uh, when, when we start seeing this rise upwards uh, when the economy is going to slow down. Because the first thing companies will do is if there's a slowdown is lay people off. So this is a, a definitely a sign, uh, one that we, an index we want to watch, so that way we can uh, gauge as to if the if the economy seems to be turning or not. So again, this is something it takes a little time. You want to see if that's a trend or not. And uh, so far, we're kind of in that in this trend. Could be a possible transitioning area, or we could be bottoming out. But something we'll definitely uh, want to keep an eye on. It's obviously too early to say uh, that it's changing or not. So let's go, especially after looking at those job numbers on last Friday with over 300,000 jobs there. So that was fantastic. Uh, let's kind of jump ahead here. Uh, today, actually, the uh, stock market is down after about four days of uh, positive training. Or I'm sorry, positive uh, trading. Uh, stock market is all down so far today. And a lot of it's getting its, um, it's taking a sentiment over from the uh, some economic data that came out of uh, China. It was very disappointing. Uh, so that's cr rehashing uh the old sentiments regards to the overall economy that on a global level where we were seeing some slowdown. We haven't quite seen it here in the U.S., but the, the concerns is that eventually it'll kind of catch up to the U.S. here. This is affecting mostly the multinational corporations that are out there that are trading in other countries. And uh, so this will affect them more so uh, than you know your local companies here that are here in the U.S., also, on the, a little bit on the sentiment, they're getting a little bit restless in uh, terms of the government shutdown. And, of course, there's effects. It affects a, a lot of us. It does affect a little bit in the real estate side of things. Uh, uh, but in overall, it's, uh, again, it's uh, just a partial shutdown. It's not a full shutdown, thank goodness. And a few of the economic reports that would be released uh, haven't been released primarily because of the government shutdown. Uh, let's kind of move this forward over to the uh, bond market and see how rates are doing today. So rates are uh, basically uh, unchanged from yesterday. So as you see, we were t touching this um, floor of support, which has been really strong, and it gave us a little bit of a scare yesterday. And the concern was if it fell below that and it stayed below that, it could uh, fall further down, and that would break this trend or this upward trend we've been getting here, which we, which is the reason why we're seeing improvement in our interest rates. Uh, we've been kind of the lower trend line here. So... That's obviously very good news. Today we started a little bit higher, we're down a little bit, but we're up about two points from where we left off yesterday. So basically kind of unchanged, really not much difference. Uh, so that's good news right there. We got a long ways here, if we can continue this trend, a long ways up here, about 70 point basis points. So, so that's almost a one point difference in pricing in terms of uh, improvement in rates if we can continue this upward trend here until we hit the next uh, ceiling of resistance here. So good news right there. I uh, hope that we'll definitely keep an eye on, on this. So if you guys are out there, uh, got loans in the pipeline, whether if you're refinancing or purchasing, you can, uh, if you want, you can hold. I would recommend holding right now and see uh, where this dictates if we get some more improvement. Obviously, with, you always want that finger on the trigger just in case. Uh, but, you know, and meanwhile, we also are seeing this 100-day moving average rising, which could give us further support uh, uh, as we come down, if we ever come downwards, especially if it hits this floor of support, and then you got the double support, and it'll be it'll take a lot for it to actually crash below that. Again, here's the ten-year Treasury. Uh, the good thing about these on the stochastic uh, stochastic calendar here is um, chart. Excuse me, stochastic chart uh, is that we're we're now out of over sold position in back into this more neutral area here. And as you can see here, we're kind of in the middle. We're starting to approach the ceiling here. We're sitting at about 2.72 here. Uh, after touching off down well below like the 258, I think it was, roughly in that range there. Uh, but so we've got the Treasury yields have climbed a bit, but uh, again, we're still in an area where it's contained a bit and kind of this neutral area. So we have room for the downside as well as upside here uh, for Treasuries to move. 
So that pretty much wraps things up. Uh, rates are unchanged from yesterday, which is obviously okay news. Uh, it, it was good news in the sense that uh, we had a little bit of a scare of that uh, floor of support that might give out yesterday, and uh, so that's the good news. Uh, and we could potentially be continuing our trend upwards. All right, so, but any other news, I will post on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Mike Bjork on Twitter, so if you want to follow me there, you can get the updates uh, throughout the day. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.